Here we are on the Long Ridge to Clitheroe Road, outside a very famous public house known simply as the Punch Bowl. The Punch Bowl has a most amazing character associated with it, called Mr. Ned King, who came all the way from Colchester, Essex, to start his new trade in highway robbery. Let's make our way inside this gorgeous old Ribble Valley Inn. This story is one of the finest stories ever to come out of the Ribble Valley. And we'll turn the clock back to the year 1739, when two people arrived here from Essex. One of them was a gentleman called Dick Turpin and his best friend, Ned King. Both men were highwaymen. There was a huge reward in their heads and they escaped to Essex and came up here to find some new trade. They spent two nights here at the punch bill that's when Turpin thought, I'll try the city of York, and he left Ned King here. Now, Ned got on very, very well with a landlord, a chap called Jonathan Briscoe, and it wasn't long before these two formed a partnership. It was called Highway Robbery. When the coaches arrived here, that's when Briscoe would have a look and see how much money the gentleman had and how much jewelry the ladies had. He would then tell King they were leaving at exactly three o'clock or four, whatever, and King would gallop at great speed down to the Mitten Crossroads, hide behind the hedgerow and shout those famous words, stand and deliver. Between them, they held up no fewer than 14 coaches from 1739 to 1741. But of course, all good things come to an end when a platoon of redcoats arrived in the nearby village of Worley and the lieutenant in charge of the redcoats got 12 of his best men inside the coach. They then set off for the Mitten Crossroads. At the Mitten Crossroads, King was waiting with two cocked muskets. All of a sudden, the coach arrived. He shouted, stand and deliver. As the words deliver left his mouth, he heard the word fire. 12 muskets protruded from the side of the coach. They volley fired and he got two musket balls in his chest. In great pain and bleeding very badly, he climbed back in his horse and galloped at great speed back to the punch bowl. In terrible agony, he got back to the punch bowl and went up to this very, very loft above our heads. There with Briscoe, they held off the redcoats for three long hours, killing three of them. They fired the last round and King shouted to Briscoe, make a run for it, make a run for it. Briscoe escaped down the back of the uh, building. He ran across the fields behind the punch bowl, but an army volley caught him and he was killed instantly. Ned King lay above her heads in the hayrick, bleeding very, very badly. He had no ammunition left. All of a sudden, the lieutenant grabbed him by the shirt collar. You've killed three of my finest soldiers. It was my job to take you back to Preston for trial for highway robbery, but I'm going to meet up my own justice. He was dragged down the lane. There they threw a rope over the nearest tree and the poor chap was hung on the spot. When his leg stopped kicking, they released the pressure on the rope and he was buried by the side of the road. That's when the famous ghost sightings of Ned King have taken place, not only in the punch bill, but also on the, on the road leading from the punch bill to the Mitten Crossroads. Well, we're now joined by uh, Margaret. Margaret is the landlady here. Uh, Margaret, I've got to ask you, um, are you very, very happy working here? Yes, very happy. Yeah. And how long have you been here? Uh, we've been here about six months. Six months. You've done an awful lot of work here because it used to be a, a restaurant, didn't it, before you arrived? Yes. And you turned it back to a traditional pub. Yeah. Which is great. And I know you sell some excellent beers. Now then, I've got to ask you, have you had any ghostly experiences in one of the Ribble Valley's most famously ghostly haunted pubs? I have, actually, yes. Quite a few. And lately, um, behind the bar, um, friends were sitting the other night there and it was either Johnny Briscoe or Ned himself took a glass from the top shelf and placed it on the floor. Gently, but enough for us to hear. We've also had doors banging when we've been trying to sit and have a conversation. And it doesn't matter what time of day it happens, Ned is there and Johnny Briscoe showing that we can, you know, hear them and 
know that he is behind the bar. Absolutely amazing. That that's really is amazing. The Punch Bowl, famous for its lunches, famous for its quality beers. Have you uh, any plans for weddings and other uh, other events? Yes, yes, we have. Um, we have um, a paranormal night tomorrow night, mm. and we have another paranormal night on the fourth of December. Uh, hopefully, we have two weddings in the near yeah, future in yeah. May. So it'll be really good, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Margaret, these paranormal organisations, they can just contact you by phone and book. Yes, they yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. Or they can contact me on the internet. Yeah, yeah. I find the stories of Ned absolutely fascinating. This picture is yes. absolutely gorgeous. It's quite a romantic hero, but what a sad, tragic death. It was, yes. I mean, the, 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 the poor guy to lose his life like that, really. But I, I always feel it was actually still here, really. Mm. Oh, definitely. Yes. He is still here, yeah. yes.